everyone. Here we are. And then Robin of the Tipsy Realtors. And you'll notice one of our Tipsy Realtors is missing because she has gone on to new endeavors and we're very happy for her. So we wish her the best. Yeah. But it isn't back to just the blonde and the redhead. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> okay, it's going to be only two tipsies. <laughs> exactly. We're going to have to make it like a, a standing thing that if you want to join the team, you got to be a brunette. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, and able uh, to uh, drink alcohol. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> How to be a tipsy realtor. So, but, um, so what are we making today? What is it called today? Today we're making a cocktail I called like Really Tall Today. I know, I know you do so. You're not even on like special <laughs> shoes or anything. I don't know. I must be having okay. a short day. No, no. no. <laughs> so here we are, and we're going to make a cocktail called New Love, and then we're going to talk mm. about things to look for that you're going to love in your new home. So all those things. We're going to talk about today, and the New Love Cocktail is a pretty cool cocktail. It was actually a recipe that was given to us by Confluence, which is an incredible mm -hmm. local distiller. Yes, so we get so to we're use be using their pink gin, pink gin. which so is amazing you. by itself, amazing with soda, amazing with uh, with everything else. But this is another way to spice up your Confluence alcohol. So we've started with a martini glass full of ice, chilling. And while that martini glass is chilling, we're going to do something that's called the dry shake. So we're going to start by putting the egg white into the jar or into the, oops, the egg white. And I just took the egg, everything. Oh, just, just try another one. That's one that I love to, oh, you want to? No, I can save it. Okay, okay save it. All right. There you go. See, professional. There we go. Yeah. All right. So the egg white is in there, and now we're going to put the alcohol in there. So we're looking at one and a half ounces of the Confluence Pink Gin, which, like I said, is an it's absolute. It's delightful, too. Yeah, it is. It uh, has nice, that grapefruit, fresh flavor. It's a mess you're making out of nice. me. <laughs> it's, just, it's like sloppy spiller. I know, I'm sorry. With some Aperol, okay. And then some elderflower. Ooh. Which I always nice love, elderflower. Yes, yeah. And our grapefruit juice. Grapefruit, yes. Which I think is going to kind of, it's all going to kind of really benefit itself, like every everything yeah. out. Sorry, there's That's my mask. Thing. My apologies. Yeah, there you go. So we're going to start with dry shaking. Yeah. Now, when you dry shake, that means no ice. You're just really doing it to get frothy. <laughs> I just saw that all happening. I thought it was great. It's coming for me. <laughs> exactly. So it's to get frothy, get the egg white nice and frothy before you put in the ice. So now that we've dry shaked it, my apologies, Anna, it's all over your counter. It's one of those days. Just uh, right. you know, that's a drink doesn't want. And now we're going to throw the ice that we had chilling in our glass. And yeah. we're going uh -huh. you, to. You did the shake. Did the shake. I know. And we're going to now shake it all and we're going to put it in our martini glass. Oh, you know what? I brought beautiful things to garnish our glasses with. And I. Need to go get them? Yes, they're in the martini shaker I brought. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yes, let's do that. Yes. I skipped the. My garnish. Mm -hmm. So the garnish is what I did is my beautiful husband brought me flowers because he's adorable. Oh, that looks so pretty. And you put it in the cocktail, which are just mm -hmm. like little daisies. And now that yes. is the drink. Robert's cocktail looks be more beautiful than mine just because I skipped the egg white. Uh, but look at that. That's mine. so pretty. It is. See, can Very you nice. see that? Look how pretty that is. I love flowers as yes. garnishes and cocktails. Cheers. Okay, let's try this. I oh, could drink that on a patio. Yeah. It is a little bit stronger than I expected it to be. But mm -hmm. I guess we just put a lot of like three different liquors. Yeah. And just a little dash of juice. <laughs> so mm. you know what though? It is definitely a patio drink. Like you could absolutely serve this on a patio. Yeah, you know what? You can make like a little bit of this actually spritzer out of it if you want to just do a little splash of soda. Yeah. To top it up, it will dilute the alcohol, make it feel even more fresher. Yeah. But it definitely has a great patio now. It yes. does. The sun is shining, that Aperol kind of 
grapefruity, yeah. floral. Yeah, this is great. This is, is a called? new love. New love. And this is a great recipe from Confluence. So thank mm. you so much. Highly recommend. Absolutely beautiful looking Welcome. cocktail. Great tasting cocktail. I love it. Yeah, I definitely would recommend this one. And it's nice and girly too. So if you have any girl events coming up. It is nice and girly, especially with the pink. Yeah. No, your, yours looks better. Um, so we were talking about like, so I took a little bit like a different take when I was reading our topic, what we're talking about. So my notes might be not that's exactly. That's okay. What to look for, looking for when buying your yeah, next home. So, and um, that's okay. That's, you know what? Yeah. You know, we have to talk about the, the love. Ones. The love part. <laughs> I that's didn't connect okay. that together. See, it's okay. the blonde mom today. Yeah. So, but. Okay, why don't you then you start and I will just pick up and... Oh, I'm yeah. sure your notes are great. So, obviously, when you're looking at buying your next home, there's always things that you want to take a look at. And a lot of times, when you're looking at that next home, you're looking to kind of fall in love with it. You've already become usually dissatisfied with the house that you're living in. You're walking around saying, it's not big enough. This is broken. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I live here. Yeah. And all that kind of stuff. And then you're looking at those new houses and you want to make sure when you fall in love, even if it's love at first sight, which it normally is that you don't get kind of swayed by things that either won't stay or things that are meant to distract you when looking at that new home. So you want to look condition yeah. of your driveway, which is a super important yeah, one. Put that really practical. <laughs> no, <laughs> when you walk up to the house, if it's a front drive garage, what is the driveway like? Is it cracked? Has there the top layer come off? Is there, you know, has it depressed? All those kind yeah, of things. Yeah, you know, like sometimes people like walk walk right straight to the house and they miss it. And like, for example, I noticed the oil stains. 100%. And some of them you cannot remove, yeah. like, or easily remove. So those things like bothered me. So, and from sometimes the buyers, like I tell you, more, you know, like, oh, the oil stain on a driveway. Well, we have to take a look and the cracks, you know, some of the cracks are could be quite substantial yeah. or, um, you know, when it gets like porous yeah. and it gets damaged and some, you know, eventually it wears out and becomes bumpy. Um, so to fix that, it costs quite a bit of money. Yeah. And then also looking yeah. for the settling around as you're walking up to the house. How is the ground settled around the house? Have they maintained building back up the grade so that it's water slopes away from the house? Is there huge gaps underneath the steps that are concrete? Because eventually you will have yes. to fix that because it's eventually going to fall or critters are going to live under there. Yeah, somebody going to definitely live under there. <laughs> exactly. The other yeah. thing is to look for, which I always actually look for, is hail damage. Look at all the siding. Yes. Is there hail damage? It is on my notes. Is it? Sorry, yes, I didn't even see that. Yeah, like <laughs> because a lot of people don't realize that when you, these hail damage, if they've put in the insurance claim for as a seller, but haven't fixed it, and you go to claim the exact same thing on the house at another date, your insurance company may not cover it because they'll say this is hail damage from the previous person. So you may want to make sure that that previous seller gets that insurance work done if they've already put in the claim and claimed mm -hmm. the money. Yeah, exactly. So, and that's all we, and you know, whatever it is, like you have to put that in a contract. Yeah. So, and sometimes if it's too late to claim the hill damage and you didn't notice, let's say at inspection or whatever, I don't know what's going on my phone. It's crazy. Like nobody actually texted me all day and now it's just nonstop. <laughs> anyway, but it, it could be too late and then you have to eat the cost. Yeah. Right. So that's kind of like one of the things. Um, the other thing I look at is shingles. Shing Try and assess the, the shingles. shingles. It's hard to look because, like, you're looking all the way at the top and you kind of like, I don't know. Because yeah. you can see them from the second floor if you have that yeah. over the garage. Yeah. So you can at least see if they newer or not. Yeah. Like, I, don't, I always check. Actually, I always um, tag the clients on the second floor and we got to do the bird eye siding. And because you can actually see the your yard, you can see the grading of your yard, and you can see your neighbors. Yes. And checking out the neighbors are very important, like because sometimes like you have kids and you see they have kids. Awesome. You might like they have these friends right away, right? Or your friend or your neighbor has a whole bunch of junk in there, and maybe you can see it's a probably not such a clean neighbor or it's a tenant. Those things you can pick up right away. So before you move in, you already know like how the people are keeping your lawns basically next to you, across from you, as like as much as you can see. Absolutely. And that's really great because you kind of can pick up like, is it a good neighborhood? Yeah. You know, is this a 
uh, these homeowners have a pride of ownership. Like those are kind of important, right? Absolutely. And then once you start, and also too is look actually at around the windows, the wood around the windows, because if that's rotting and stuff, again, those are things I always tell people when we're walking into a home, you got to look at all the cost of all the things. Now I know we always, when we're looking at houses, we'll point out things like that. We'll point out, look, the wood is rotting there. That's going to be an extra yeah, cost. Because sometimes it has very pretty curtains. Sometimes it has a very pretty like a uh, window coverings. And people are like, oh my God, it's a pretty window covers. But then you don't actually go and look them and to see if it's original wood frame. Is it a warp? To, does it have water damage? All kind of that kind of stuff. Absolutely. So yeah, I'm always like, that's like a savage. Let's see what's in the wood. Exactly. What's behind the iron curtain. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, and then also too is actually what I always laugh. And I think my clients must think I'm a weirdo because I like walk into the house. Oh, yeah. The first thing I start doing is this. I'm looking at the ceiling because I want to see if there's ceiling stains. I want to see if there's damage to the ceiling because I'm looking for what's in between the floors. That's right. Yeah. The, like that's kind of one of the, I mean, important to see. Like, so as you know, it's an old stain, but it's good to point out. Was it fixed? Uh, I mean, Calgary has been really bad for attic rain for the last three years. Yeah. So attic rain, it's when the water freezes in your attic and then thaws out and causes water stains all over the ceiling. So you want to check those out because, again, was that uh, one-time occasion? Like, you want to talk to the seller about those things. Has it been fixed? what was the main problem of all that kind of stuff, right? Absolutely. Now I know for when we list houses, we actually, a lot of times will try and put little cards up around the house it, mm -hmm. and we make sure like, you know, when in that card. So if you're looking at one of our listings, you'll see when the roof was last done, if the windows were recently done, we put all that information up front. So as you're walking around you the house, you get it. But unfortunately not all realtors do that. And, and sometimes you don't know, like, you know, it's just yeah. like, the people sometimes live there for only like short period of time and they like, don't have the info and they don't have the info because they didn't ask so it's kind of like I bought it this way yeah so and that's kind of how it goes yeah absolutely now also is wall cracks and cracks in the floor in the basement and the garage obviously those are all things that you want to be cautious of some and what's really nice is home inspectors nowadays mm -hmm. when I started I think when you started they didn't have the thermal imaging guns yes, and stuff like yeah. that and now they have those thermal guns so now they can actually see behind the wall and they can see those cracks yeah. in the foundation and stuff like that I measure the temperature yeah and back in the old days they didn't do that so that's yeah. a great source of something to do is to go around with those thermal guns and look for those cracks and that can be part of your home inspection because obviously we can't rip back their insulation to see what's happening but you can also walk around the outside sometimes and you can see if we can eyeball anything from the outside and again that's you know you and your realtor should be doing that together and your realtor is the one that should be looking for this but you also got to take care of yourself and you know, you're the master of your own destiny. Well, I mean, like we always say that the buyers are so much more educated these days, right? Super. But again, most of the people, what are they looking at? A community, maybe a crime rate, proximity to amenities. You quite well educated in terms of what's going on in the community, how much everything is selling for. But when you walk into the house, unless you get distracted by either pretty things or like you're looking at the things. Do I have that enough bedrooms or bathrooms or is it clean? Like, do I need to do rentals? But you don't actually look at, at the smaller stuff. Uh, I did put on a list to check if it's a kid friendly and pet friendly. So, yeah. and it's not, uh, the idea was, yeah, sometimes you have to remember the floors, not always the kid friendly or pet friendly. You know, sometimes you, you will realize like if it's a hardwood it might get damaged uh but also if you buy in condominium like that's kind of something you want to look into before you go in and start to fall in love with the place because if it's not kid friendly let's say it's an age restriction there's a pet restriction on the size and how many pets you can have you want to know before you step your foot um into a condo absolutely and honestly in anything that you're looking at if there's a carpet on the floor or a picture on the wall don't be scared to pull them back and see what's behind it because mm. unfortunately sometimes they're put down to hide things and honestly if you're in a house and something is somewhere that doesn't make sense always lift like I'm of the opinion I always lift the rugs when we're looking especially if the clients are super excited about house about the house we lift the rugs we look behind the wind uh, the, the mirrors and the paintings and touch on the 
posters to make sure that there's not significant damage behind it because unfortunately sometimes yeah. that does happen so i always say when you're looking at houses at the end the only surprise there should be is diamonds so we're trying to and that's my favorite saying yeah. only surprises i like your diamonds so that is the kind of thing that we're wanting to make sure that you don't have those kind of surprises where you go in yeah. and the painting or the poster comes down and there's a gaping hole behind it like someone was tunneling their way out of alcatraz yeah. And you know what? Uh, so let's say you everything you get past, uh, you know, the check mark here, uh, and you, you know, walkthroughs, and you love it. You say to buy it. Definitely ask questions like, how long does this owner ha like own the house? Maybe uh, they've been there for a year. Maybe they've been there for ten years, all their life, for the original owner or not. And the only reason is, is like, if um. Why are they selling? Like, you know, we cannot actually tell why they're selling, but it's good to probe and find oh, out yes. how long those people, because sometimes it's like, did you know you had a problem at a home inspection? Something comes up and person like, no, I just like uh, owned this for six months. That never rained before. So I never seen the water in the basement. Right. So there's just things like that. Can you also give you maybe some sort of sense of comfort if yeah. the owner, some of the owners have been there for a long time? And of course, look at the comps. I mean, the market is kind of crazy. We never she know. She means comparable home sales that yes, happened comps. recently. Yeah, comps. <laughs> yes. So you want to basically see what has sold in a neighborhood, like right now within the last 30 to 40 days, just to see if um, you in that price range, you know, because the price, like, you know, the homes, um, we don't know what they cost. We know the market, and then the market takes it to a different uh, absolutely uh, price. And the condo minimums, like condos are growing in price, are so huge. Some people like almost afraid to pay for the condo because you know that, and we had a very low price condo market for very many years, and it's recovering. And it's recovering now. But what I like to do is like I will pull the con, like the history of the building. And see, have it ever been the price this high? Absolutely. And generally, you can find that because we did have the high markets for condos where the price absolutely been high or higher. And, you know, it, that's kind of a good price to go and, you know, not scared to offer. Well, and it's buyer. actually, it's funny because I know recently we've had two sales. One where even a month ago, everything in the condo complex was only selling at 405 and yet we were able to sell the property at 445 just a month later, we had another one that we had a client of ours looking at and it was asking 300 and everything in that condo complex had asked 302 previously and they'd gotten 302 and that was the sale in, in the last 90 days, 302. But this townhouse went for $377,000. So that is important to look. You're going to have to look back a little further right now because you're looking at where it has been because we've had that depressed condo market to where it should be now. And we're coming it back up to where we should be. And that's where a lot of people are having a hard time swallowing that because yeah. we're going back to where we should be. Yeah. But again, uh, you know, those are questions you can work out with your realtor. Which Gen should be asked. It should be asked. Yeah. yeah. I mean, definitely, you know, we generally look, at those we are we usually try to answer those questions before they ask because that's kind of like okay is it a good deal for my client right is it a good purchase for you is it a good investment because the way the market is changing we don't know all the th visual things we can address them Absolutely. right we can point them out we can catch that home inspection something what's wrong what's like what's not well done but our financial part because our market is changing so quickly, it's very important to look a little bit further than 30-day history. Absolutely. Yeah. And sometimes the market even surprises us. Mm. Sometimes we can say, I never saw it going that high. Exactly. Yeah. But you know how you say never, ever. Never, never say never. Ever. Yeah. Never say never. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. But I mean, Calgary is growing city and, you know, we are growing market. So uh, lots of immigration to provincial and immigration as well. So we will be seeing the growth for the next couple of years. And if we if you have time, sometimes you have time. Ask them what their utility bills are. Get a copy mm. of what the utility bills are. Make a little budget. Can you afford the house? Utility bills, property taxes, mortgage payment. Look at all of that. Yeah. And 
you know, and like I was talking to another couple just recently and they said, you know what, we'll buy at the top of our price range now because we know over the next couple of years in their job, they're getting significant amounts of raises because they're ending their promote, uh, probation. And so they, they know being that house poor is temporary. I'm not saying be house poor. I'm never a big fan of that, but I understood the logic of their statement. So make sure you really look at well, your, you your total. educated decision, Absolutely. not emotional. Exactly. And that is our job. Our job is to let you be emotional, but try and bring that back to logic and try and make sure that you're looking at all of those logic things so that that emotion isn't your detriment. So well, anyways, prizes. Prizes. Okay. What are we doing? So, so we are I'm getting a really cool glass with a handle on the jokes. I know. Yeah. Like, or it's for your should, finger. I back like a, you know, like, hmm. so they got actually like a, 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 mo a model. Yeah. <laughs> a model. So we do it. It's a glass. It's a whiskey glass. Whiskey glass. And it has a cigar holder actually embedded into the glass. So you see like kind of it's right here. So you kind of just put it in take your glass. And you exactly. And if you're, if you're not wanting to puff on your cigar, not that we're condoning yeah. smoking, but some people do like to enjoy yeah. them and summer is coming yeah. up. And you just put it back that in. You can put it back in and you can drink your whiskey and you've got somewhere yeah. to put your cigar down. Or maybe a tip. You can roll a tip into it. A tip? Yeah, I don't know. Like a tip for like the bartender? Yes. <laughs> you bring your own glass to the bar. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just saying. You can roll a tip into it, and then you can bring your tipsy mm. realtors over, and we'll take the tip. Right, we'll take the tip. We'll make oh, the that, cocktails. But, yeah, so you just kind of put it there. We, and you, so by liking our show, uh, obviously you can see it we're on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, YouTube, and any social media you see the tipsy realtors. Like, share, tag your uh, friends. You get two of these. So you can tag your buddy. Or a girlfriend, if you guys like really love your whiskey with the cigars. I mean, like I, I personally, as a lady, love the whiskey and cigars. They compare really yeah. nice together. Exactly. So you get two of those and you get to share with your best bud. All right. And now for next week, we are doing the cocktail nightcap. I love nightcap. And we're talking about home security solutions. So if oh. you're out there and actually it's really sad in my community. We had someone post that they recently had their car broken into, which is so sad. Yeah. So home security solutions. If you have concerns about the security in your home, this is going to be one for you. Absolutely. Okay, great. So, you guys, have a, enjoy the beautiful weather. We're finally having this I know. Week. It's going to be an amazing week. Yeah, it's so nice to get on. But I'm not going to tell you that out loud. So enjoy. If you guys have any questions about the market, you're thinking of buying or selling, Please contact us. Uh, the market is very active. We are short on inventory, so we do have more than one buyer pretty much for any listing that Absolutely. comes out of the market. And if you're looking at selling your home, this is a great time, so let us come over and tell you what it's worth. Absolutely. Yeah, we All can right. do that. Thanks. Bye. Bye.